Right, here we are, day one. Minecraft Legends, opening cutscene, we've seen this before from a few other YouTubers. Um, but I want to watch it, this is day one, and I've got to go through the tutorial and bits of the story so that I can get started with some epic PvP. like it. Cutscene's really cool. Got the live chat running if people are interested. Drop me a car last Nava. Nava. This is Come going to be a banger. We must witness this together. I think it's going to be a banger. I'm excited about this game. Get my resources, get building. Start with the tutorial though first, let's get this tutorial sorted out. sad that it has come to this. Shall we begin? friend <laughs> that's pretty cool startle you your bravery and creativity inspired us to seek your aid they need us see, we are the hero under attack it's being devoured and it is a danger only you can prevent time is of the essence will you help us thank you now step forward brave hero and join us. Hang on to your stomach. This will just take a second. Welcome. I'm afraid we have much to ask of you. Alright, I get to choose my hero. Let's take a look. Uh, this guy looks cool. Uh, Oh, I can have a mount skin. Horse, beetle, bird, tiger, tiger. Yeah. I like the tiger. Uh, enter to select. No, come on. Selecting my skin. Oh, maybe I have to have the horse. I don't know. Right, selecting my skins. Uh, let's do the campaign to start with a tutorial. New story. I have heard a lot about this game, been waiting, excited to play. I hope there's a lot of strategy in it. I like Minecraft, I like building, I like exploring, but um, yeah, I want a good RTS game. Some bases are teeming with piglins, try thinning their numbers by destroying the pits. 
So from what I gather, we have to we have to fight the piglins to get resources. We use the resources to build our base. And that's the same for PvP stuff as well, I think. Keep an eye out for the mighty firsts. Will you explore the overworld? These powerful friends missed it. Hello. I hope you're feeling okay. That kind of trip always upsets my stomach. <laughs> I got a message from uh, Senor Costen. Hello. I wish we had met under different circumstances, but this world is under attack, and we need your help. Foul creatures known as the Piglins have emerged from their fiery home, and they mean to conquer this peaceful land and all the creatures that live here. We need your help to make sure that doesn't happen. But don't worry, we won't be alone. Behold, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we present no, no yes. face cam this time. <laughs> Too complicated. With the right melodies from Too much messing around. The LAs will gather your resources, keep them safe for you. And build whatever you need. Within this case, burn the flames of creation. The flames will call upon friends to fight by your side. These golems helped us shape the overworld. And now they will help you defend it. And last but not least, this is the banner of courage. Raise it high, and this world will rise to your aid. How are all the levels, Mr. Costin? Can you hear everything okay? The piglins' hunger is in Do you want more game audio? They already have a foothold in the overworld. And if they or are more stopped, microphone. They or did I guess and get it just you right? The creatures of our world to this day. But we believe you can. That's why we called upon you. Oh, nice one. Any hope, it's you. don't have much time, but just enough to show you a thing or two about these tools. I'm a fair amount louder than the game. Yeah, that's good. There's no telling what you'll face in the overworld now that the piglins are here. So the sooner you master these tools, the better. There you go. Head over to action and we'll get started. Okay, we're playing. Run to action, reach the action, use W, S, and D. Press space to jump, shift, toggle, sprint on. Well, yeah, that's like regular Minecraft. We like that. Yes. Great. I must say now the graphics are good. Work. The overworld Smooth. is filled with resources you can gather to help you fight the piglins, and that's where the LAs come in. Play the right melody on your lute, and they'll gather anything for you. Let's start by playing the melody to gather wood. All right, we're going to gather some wood. Hold right-click to enter the build view. Ooh move until the gather zone shows up when it overlaps a resource press the left all right so we're going to move that over the tree over both trees and then we'll let the alleys out well done make your way to where action is and use your loot to gather some stone yes it is a new it's a brand new minecraft game oreo Cool name, by the way. I uh, love Oreos. Uh, it's like an RTS game. You got to build bases and fight against each other and stuff. Nice work. This is the Let's tutorial. The this time, play the melody for gathering stone. Play the melody for gathering stone. Uh, oh no no. Mouse wheel. Yes. All right, gather this stone up, Ale. And then left click to confirm. Yeah. Ah, so you select in your inventory at the bottom what you want them to gather. Now you've got the resources. That's you need. cool. That's step one. Step two is playing the melody that will inspire the LAs to build what you need. Hey, build some stairs so you can come and join me up here. Build some stairs. Uh, okay. Enter the build view. Uh, Press to start placement. Ah, 
Ah, so if I press C, I can choose structures to build. I see. There we go. So, Z are my re is my resources. X is looks like weapons. C is structures, and V uh, some kind of village stuff. Okay, that's cool. Well done. I'm learning. Stairs are going to save you a lot of time out there. Stairs. We'll use flames of creation to call your friends to battle. Lapis will keep these flames burning bright. Take some from hey, brick film. How's minute. it going? Open the chest. Press Q. Ooh, I played yeah. my loot. Let's light those flames. Use Sorry. the spawner melodies to call the golems you met earlier. Use the what? Uh, press X to select the combat hotbar. Ooh, cobblestone golems. Enter build view. And we're going to put a cobblestone spawner down. There. Uh, I don't think you do have to, no. I don't think you have to play the tutorial. Good question. It probably just lets you straight in, but that would be suicide. Spawning golems. Hold Q while standing near the spawner. Um, yeah, this game literally came out today. It literally came out ten minutes ago. So if I hold Q... They'll rally behind me. How do I use the banner of courage then? Come on. P quickly press Q. Ah, and I get this. Okay. Oh, it's like um, Pikmin. It's like Pikmin. They follow you. I recognise that thing. Yeah. So I think I just follow this line. And the golems will follow me. Oh, I don't know what that thing is. Oh, you don't have to hold shift to run, you can just toggle it on and off, that's nice. Uh, are they going to get over this water? Yeah. And then do I go in here? Yeah, tutorial. Part one. Done. These guys are happy with me, because I did a good job. Yeah, definitely useful to Thank do the tutorial. We are honoured to have you as an ally. My experience in RTS games in the PvP, the although to be fair, there's no one else who knows how to play it either. Everyone's just, even people who are playing it right now, on day one, are doing the tutorial. Just a lucky few that got it early. That's why, that is why you're a VIP, Costin. Questions like that. Improve your tower. So, we're going to have another new part of the tutorial now. Let's see how far I get. I think I'll do the tutorial and maybe the first, first level of the campaign or something. And then I'll live stream a bit of PvP. Another day, probably. That looks nice. I must say, I've seen a few uh, channels streaming their gameplay and it looks okay Welcome to our world. but on we a big monitor in front of you it looks properly, really good but a village needs your help it's probably good please go to them go to the village a compass and a map use them to make sure you're going in the right direction um okay so i've got like a um skyrim style compass at the top i think that's the village i'm supposed to be going to so let's just make a beeline straight for that yeah, the graphics are really nice. We provided nice. you with some starting resources, but remember that the LAs can gather more for you while you make your way. Busy LAs are happy LAs. Okay, so let's get the LAs um, to gather some wood. Over here, while I'm on my way. They're going to gather while I head towards the village. Uh, I'm going to get some to gather some stone, because there's some stone here. Uh, is this a good place? There's a lot of stone there. Cool. So I should have a bit of, uh, should have a bit of wood and stone coming through. 
expected to get many graphical settings. Just, uh, I think just, re just resolution, which is just set to my monitor. And the resolution is of my monitor is uh, 2K, 1440p. But the resolution of the stream is not that high. Just to save on bandwidth. I want it running smoothly for you guys. Oh, I definitely need to toggle on sprint. Now I did see some gold ore back there, but I don't know if uh, I don't know if I can mine gold ore yet. In all honesty, I'm just heading towards this village. Oh, I've got my sword. I haven't practiced with my sword yet. I think that thing on my hot. Oh, I'm going around the water. I think that thing on my compass at the top there is the village. Uh, don't know what that is. Please hurry. The piglins are relentless. I can put out more gatherers. Oh, the village. The village calling. Yeah, there That's aren't many resources. Village. Yes, the Get village. Over there quickly. Maybe I should have put down more gatherers. <gasps> Oh no! This is how you learn though, isn't it? This is how you learn. Right, piglins are here. That's fine, you can ask me questions about Education Edition. Uh, I've got a video a about the spectator mode. Uh, there's a way to do it. I don't. I haven't tested out quickly, that particular quickly. mod you in... Alright, oh, this is hard. Alright, go away, Piglins. I haven't tested that mod though in 1.19, so not sure. Uh, but there's a video on my channel. If you go to my channel, don't videos, forget, and search, spawners to spectator mode. To fight by your side. It's there. Lapis dropped by the Piglins can be used to fuel your spawners. Collect the lapis to keep your fires burning. Lapis dropped by the piglins will help me build spawners. Apparently. Or it'll keep my spawners going once I've built them. Crikey, these little piglins are all over the place. Come on. Love it. The music changed. No, it didn't. Get out of it, piglin. This bit's kind of like dungeons, Minecraft dungeons, a little bit. The sword swinging style. There are piglins everywhere. Oh, shouldn't be too many left now. This one's having a fight with a wolf. He's done it. Yet danger is over, but the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. A carpenter hut will repair nearby structures. Get the LAs to work building one for you. Carpenter hut. All right. Let's pop one down. Uh, an arrow tower. I might not build one until I'm told to. Build a carpenter hut. Good. Ah. Build the carpenter hut near the near the beam of light. Sorry, didn't read it. I hope that's close enough. Looks done. Do I need to build another one even closer? Man, that's annoying. This is why you should always read. What a relief! Now I've got two carpenters. The water hooks. flows again. The piglins are mounting an attack on another village. There is no time to waste. The villagers need you. Alright. I need to go over to another village. But this time, I'm going to build uh, gatherers on the way. So, this is for wood. Let's pop that there. So, is there is there no limit to how many gatherers I can I can put down? There must There must be. You can see my resources in the bottom left there, going up. 
Ah, now this must be a portal where the piglins come out, I suppose. Okay. Now I've got two two wood gathering operations going on. Maybe I should gather th some of this as it's done. Is that going to work? Remember, yeah. your map and compass will show you the way. Yeah, I must follow that village on my uh, compass. Good job. There's numbers in the little pictures of the alleys, I think. Oh, I've got five. Five on the left. Five gatherers, three builders. Is that how many I've got live at the minute in the world? Or how many I can use? More images in the well. Is it our hero? Another village, it seems. And more piglins. Not again. Should we go warn them? As much as it hurts our hearts to see this happen, we must trust that our hero will see them through it. Let's get stuck in. So, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a spawner there and a cobblest cobblestone golem spawner there, and I can spawn them if I hold Q. And I need to do the same over here potentially. And then I'm gonna go and get them to help me. Your spawned we army have to is full. defeat the piglins attacking the village. We can't allow them to gain any ground. That's all right. Okay, now will will my guys like auto attack? Oh yeah, that's cool. So they follow me around and just get stuck in. I like it. Press E to direct night and nearby golems to attack. Yeah, get stuck in over there. You guys get stuck in over there. I'll do some attacking over here. This storyline is making me anxious, Oreo. We thank you. I know. And the villagers want to thank you too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Open chest. The villagers are peaceful but want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on their resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. The piglins are rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. Better build up some defences while there's still time. Yeah, I better have build up some defences. Uh, Arrow towers will work well to defend this village. Let's pop some arrow towers down. One on each corner. And if those piglins come in, they'll get an arrow to the face if they build in time. You need to get some defences up around the village. Uh, okay, well I could build a wall. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There's still some time to gather up resources if you're getting low, but be quick. Am I getting low on resources? I don't know. Okay. It's like quite a nice walled community I've got now. Yeah, the this is like quite a bit of base don't building. Don't forget, your golem friends want to help too. I can't watch this. Okay, I've run out of wood to build fences all the way around. So there's a bit of a gap here. So I'm going to wait here. The piglins are here. Brace yourself, hero. Now, how do I know where the piglins are? More piglins approaching. Yeah, I know, Oreo. The shaders were great, weren't they, for education? The piglins distance. will attack from all sides. Really so be sure to check gone. your compass to see where they're coming from. Alright, so my compass will tell me where the piglins are coming from. 
Here they are. Uh, I'm mainly concerned about piglins coming in from this area, which they're not, which is good. In hindsight, I probably should have built a gate here. Oh, okay, they're destroying stuff. <laughs> right, maybe I should just go out there and deal with this problem. Because they're just destroying all the stuff on the outside of my wall. This is how we learn. Okay, so E. We'll get them stuck in against these lot. So you get stuck in over there. I'll deal with these guys. Good night. You're doing great. Just a little longer and you've got this. Right, there's a banner over here, so I'm just gonna More just gonna, piglets! I'm just gonna ride out to them. Hopefully my golems will do the business here. Yeah. Oh, crikey. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Uh, I need to get my golems back. Come on, guys. That's it. What's this one do? Yeah, town. Okay. Look at all these guys. more the attack is over but some piglins yeah the walls stayed strong the golems did the you business <laughs> village saved we knew you'd do it the villagers are thrilled that you defended their fountain they've put some extra resources in the chest for you as a special thank you awesome. you are doing well but piglins do not give up easily even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But yeah, this the time we have the lens. advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding yes. the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. Uh, right, there should be some more stuff in the chest because I did such a good job. What have I got? I've hit my resource carry limit. Now, how do I spend these then? Do I put, am I supposed to put down more spawners and stuff? Is that the plan? Anyway, hitting your resource carry limit is no bad thing. So I need to. I know what I'm going to do in this game. I'm going to keep leaving my. Uh... So when you press E and send them into battle, they stop following you. That's scary. Uh, so I need to ride out to the um, to where the piglins are coming from. I've got a map here. Village. I'm here. Village. Village. Well of fate. Uh, piglin outpost and village. So I'm heading over to the piglin outpost. That's cool. What does R do? Gather wood. Uh, plank golems. Okay, so this is like an encyclopedia slash instruction book. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Wow, look at the graphics. That's a nice view. Very nice view. I mean, we were talking about shaders earlier. Pack of wolves, are they interested in me? Follow me if you like wolves. Oh cool, the wolves follow me. Oh, I just got a speed boost. Uh, I don't really know if this is a... Can I get past these mountains easily? No, I can't. God, the snow's a bit annoying. I need to find a way through the mountains. What, I'm 
going to go around. Look at all the things that are following me. What's this stuff? Oops, sorry wolves. Sorry. Right, it's kind of hard to get to this outpost with all these mountains in the way, I've got to admit. Uh, now, can I gather this stuff? This is diamond, isn't it? Uh, let's go to Z. That Gad village attack could happen any moment now. You have to go after the new piglin outposts. Yeah. I think I can gather stone at the minute and wood. That is it. Yeah, I can see a lot of interesting tactics here. If you can get out and gather some of the more valuable resources quickly, build some of the more valuable units, you could get an advantage pretty quick. How far am I away from these outposts? I feel like I'm chasing the sunset over here. It's a nice view. Huh. The mushrooms do something. Maybe they restore your hearts or something. It's going to be a pretty epic battle when we get to these these outposts. Let's aim it. Am I there? Oh, I'm not too far off now. Doing okay. I don't think I can mine any of this stuff yet. Let's... Uh, no. I think I need to progress further in the tutorial. There's a lot of overworld to explore, but first you should see to those outposts. Yeah, I know. I was just looking. Hello, La... La... Jaume. La... Jaume. Hello. How's it going? Ah. Oh, not a swamp. It's frustrating looking at all of these resources to gather and not being able to do it. I want to know what they unlock. What can I build with these resources? Am I getting attacked by something? What's going on? Oh, it's those uh, thorns. I should not walk through those. <laughs> Sorry, wolves. Uh, okay. Let's go around. and find our first outpost. And no walking on the th on the thorns <laughs> this time. Hmm. I need to build a bridge here. I'm going to guess Lava? Here? We clearly underestimated their capacity for corruption. Remember the ramps you built with us at the well? They don't only have to go up. RCLA is to build you a bridge across that moat. Already done it. Oh, they're attacking already. Look at them go! Go on. Can I attack? Look at that big one on the other side. Just like, no. Uh, maybe should build some spawn as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can build any spawners. Just have to make do with what I've got. No, I can't build anything, but that's okay. See how much health this has got left on it. It's taking a while. Oh, 
cobblestone golems look funny. I think my wolves uh, were not cut out for this job. I've lost the wolves somewhere in the chair. You're through the wall. There's three. nothing standing between you and those barracks. Get out of here, piglins. Except for a few piglins. I made short work of those lads. Come on. My health seems pretty good, which is nice. any piglins that come out in the meantime and that'll be the first outpost destroyed. I don't think I can do anything to destroy it. Which is... Oh! In the lava. outpost is done. Two left. Will I have to do them or is that the end of the tutorial? What I really hope this game has is like a uh, like a PvP against bots or something like that so you can practice. Interesting. The world is waking to the war. Where will this lead? I need to go back over the bridge, I think, and get to a bit of the world where I can put down spawners. I think, and wood is quite low. So, let's gather wood here. And let's gather more wood here. That's fine. And uh, let's build some... Let's build a cobblestone golem spawner. Get some cobblestone golems out. Your spawned army is full. Okay, so. I feel like I can get the hang of this now. The LAs are doing their thing. Let's find another piglin spawner thing. Stronghold, that was the word. So this is the village in the centre that I'm supposed to be protecting, which means there's a spawner up there and there's a spawner over there. So let's go to this one first, let's go around clockwise and get him. <laughs> Don't walk on that stuff. It's not good. Well, how can I get up here? Or is there going to be stuff in my way? I hate to admire their engineering, but those blaze wood towers are pretty dangerous. Mm. And their range is impressive. 
The LAs will help you get up there with a ramp. All you have to do is play the right melody. So I need to build a ramp, he's always telling me. Let's go for it. Crikey, I don't want to build one that high. Right, knock it down, guys. I'll do some of these guys here. That's cool. It kind of knew the steepness of the ramp that was required. Which is helpful. I'll just kill any piglins that come out of here. Great, and now we'll take out the spawner. We're getting the hang of it. Oh, I should be attacking these guys. Oh, no. Oh, there's one more blaze tower thing I need to get. Get it, guys. Knock it down. I like the cobblestone golems. They're my friends. Look at them go. Excellent. Some triumphant music. Very good. There is still one more outpost, however. Off to the next outpost. And I guess down here I should do some more spawning. Oh, I just fell from a great height. Oh no, guys, sorry. Okay, let's. This is the bit where I need to get a bit quicker. Let's get some more of these guys. Thank you for building that. Allies. Marvelous, my spawned army is full. Okay. And I've got lots of resources, which is excellent. So the last outpost. And I'll probably end the live, live stream at one hour. Never spread us. An hour. The pollution they create makes the air breathable for the piglins. Alright, so do I just get stuck in on this thing? Yeah. Oof. What happens when you die? Well, your health is really low. Just respawn at the nearest village, probably. Guys, gather them up again by pressing Q and get them onto the ouch. And onto this thing in the middle here. I think this thing in the middle is the one that's causing all the problems. Mop up a few of these. Can I heal if I need to? I mean, my health's okay, but. Okay, that's done. Let's, let's do the next one. Attack that thing, guys. Ouch. Right, just get the pig to come out of the spawner. We're learning, we're doing alright, this is good. This is nice. I mean, I hope... I hope I could... For example, this is what I'm wondering. Can I leave those guys attacking? And make, uh, make them at the spawner, leave them doing their thing there, and then get more 
No, it says my spawned army is full. That, is that really the limit of the size of the army? Maybe that's just for this tutorial. I like big armies. Right, knock this thing down. Okay, 28 house. Hello. Thanks for uh, getting involved. We're playing some Minecraft Legends today, as you can see, for the first time. This game just came out today. And we're seeing if it's any good. Seeing if we like it. I like it so far. Okay. And we'll destroy this last thing here. Still don't know really what that thing is. There's no more spawners left, so we're good. And then we should have the last outpost done. Yeah, I know, right? It is nice. And it looks good on the stream. I've got the stream up next to me, but on the monitor, for instance, it looks ten times better. It's really good. And it responds nicely as well. Right. Destroying those nether spreaders will help clear the air. I did help clear the air by destroying the nether nether spreaders. That's what they're called. Ah, our curious creeper is back, and they brought a friend. What do you think they'll do? Well, we will find out soon enough. After defeating all those outposts, you've collected quite a bit of prismarine. Bring it to me at the will of fate, and I'll show you how to build something that will be very useful for you. Right, now you I'm gonna are attuned learn to more. the waters of the well. You can travel here quickly anytime you wish. Uh, press M. I can just travel to the well of fate, apparently. Uh, zoom. Well of fate. Fast travel. Space bar. We're learning. We're learning. Knowledge? What are you doing out there? I'm working on a little something extra to help the hero. with the piglins I assure you that okay okay go on now join your new friends you too little one go on oh we're learning to build some more stuff this is what I wanted the mossy and grindstone golems are excited to join you mossy you need a special resource to build them I've written the melody for you you'll just need to build the right improvements Add the improvements to your gather icon using your melody's hotbar. Um, a gather. I need to open my songbook. Ah. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. This is where all the wonderful melodies you learn will be kept. Now go ahead and turn the pages. Hmm. So I can assign that there, which is nice. He wants me to turn the pages, and I didn't listen to how to do that. E. Uh, enter to the side. Great. Now go ahead and build your iron improvement. There you go. Now choose the structure that improves your loot to play the iron melody, and the LAs will build it for you. Choose a structure to improve your loot. Uh... Improvement, gather iron. I think it's already there, isn't it? Customize. Okay. So, am I done? Can I build this stuff now? Ah, so press V. I can improvement, gather iron. 
Ooh. And I have to build it there for some reason. Enables you to gather collect iron. Okay, so I can build improvements to the Well of Fate to learn how to do more stuff. And there you have it. Ah, now you'll be able to collect iron in the world. I see. And these new friends whenever you need them. All right, so now I've built that. Now that yes. You have access to iron, you can use it to build all sorts of new structures. The piglins are planning something. I know it. The piglins so have eyes on the map. So now I can build a grindstone golem and a mossy golem. They're going to need you again. Let's get a couple of these. Good. Of these. I don't think I got any of the mossy golems, but that's fine. Uh, destroy this new type of piglin outpost. Ooh, scary. Let's go and get it with my new type of things. And if I see any iron on the way, I can potentially mine. I can gather, gather the iron. Because at the minute I have 14 iron, which is not enough, probably, to do much. Okay, we're heading this way to the new outpost. Don't know why there's a pig following me. Um, like a lot of RTS games, I think this has a lot... It has quite a steep learning curve, doesn't it? There's a lot to learn. Although I honestly think that about Minecraft too. I was quite late into Minecraft and when people still now talk to me about all the recipes and stuff, there's a lot to learn. I can't believe how big the map is actually, that's an interesting thing. Most RTS games, the maps are pretty small. The diff it's not difficult to find the uh, person you're fighting against. Alright, avoid those for sure. Is this iron yet? I haven't seen any iron to mine. I don't think it is. This looks like iron. So I can mine some. Yeah! So now the LAs will just uh, get gather in that iron. It's beautiful. Right, this looks like the new kind of. Now that you've got the hang of using the banner, let's try a few more advanced moves. Let's try. You can give specific commands to specific allies if you need just one type or even just one friend to get the job done. Mm. Give it a try now. In the heat of battle, you'll need to be ready for anything. Hold control to enter the banner view. Uh oh. Uh, hold and direct your nearby nearby mobs to charge. Hold and send your mobs to focus on your target. Um, press either button to send a single nearby m mob. Ah, that's quite cool. Ah, but first I need to build a bridge, otherwise I'm sending them to their deaths. Oh, time, which is a bit mean. Something feels different here. The piglin's threat is changing, but to what end is not yet clear to me. So if I hold control and just send a couple over there. Uh, just send them all to charge. Go on. Okay, they can't do anything. Else. Maybe I need to build another bridge. Okay, I'm in the lava. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. So let's gather these lads up again. Try not to put them all in the lava. Yeah. guys doing their thing for a bit. They don't need me. <laughs> and uh, build some of these guys. I don't know if my golems are up there doing the job. I 
Okay, so let's go in with these guys. Mossy golems, what are they going to do for me? You two attack that thing. What are they doing? Attacking structures. Attack the biglings. They just kind of squirted that load of water, that's not that helpful. I don't know what the mossy golems do, but uh, I'll have to read up on that. I'll destroy this tower. It's shooting us. What are you two doing? Why don't you two destroy this thing? Now, can I get these guys out? Oh, I can. I have to play my loot. these badges. Yeah, run free badges. No, I'm getting the hang of it. I think I know what to do now. Oh, I've left a golem down here. Sorry. Alright, open the cage. Let the badges run free. Are there any more? What are they doing? this thing to kill, of course. I think I can build a new army. I'm going to build some grindstone dudes. Not the mossy golems, I just... I don't trust them to do the job, in all honesty. Right. I don't want to... I want to spawn. Ooh. Okay. These guys. And I want to use them. Oh, I can't use them, because the others have already done the job. <laughs> Who's this guy? Some of those, some of those guys look pretty serious. Even the creepers look worried. First they poison the ground. Now the sky? Our hero must see us through the darkness. You have to find the source of this magic. Find it and stop it. Once and for all. Right, I need to get my... Uh... Piglin army back. Not my piglin army, what am I about? My army of golems. So, so far I've got four different types of golems. I've got some different structures and things I can build. Can they follow me up here? I don't want to have to build another bridge. Yes, they can get up. Ow, lava. Alright, let's try and finish this then. Any more? My army's 
useful. Man, I feel like I want a bigger army. I just want millions of golems. I don't want to be limited. Right. The LA's can build you a wellhouse to offer a safe place to regroup. And for you to travel from right back into battle. I suggest building these close to where the action is. They'll save you a lot of time. What should I build? A well house. Oh, it's like a respawn point. Alright, well I'll build my respawn... Okay, another cutscene. The dark sky is fueling the piglins' aggression. What can we do? The overall mobs are fighting back. By watching our hero. This base is beyond anything we have seen, but we know you can triumph together. They've got faith in me. It's reassuring. Right, so let's um, start by destroying this gate. Get stuck here, guys. I'll attack these dudes. This is going to be a pretty epic battle. I don't know what my... I don't know what my end goal is if I'm trying to destroy a particular structure in the middle. I'm going to destroy all of these things. I'm going to take some time. Through to something in the center. Destroy it. But what? I don't know. Whatever that thing that says, probably that thing. <laughs> that big purple thing. Needs to go. I'm hoping for a new type of enemy to encounter as well. That would be good. Man, these gates are hard to destroy, aren't they? Come on. I can just jump over. Of course I oh, my health's getting really low. Oh. Now, what happens if I die? Do I just respawn at the place? Let's just try and die by helping my golems. Oh my guys, let's get stuck in. Alright, destroy it. Destroy it. In on it. Come on. If the magic of this portal is not stopped, night will last forever. Right, my health is going back up gradually, that's a relief. And my my dudes. My dudes are getting stuck in on the portal thing. My health is going back down again. The portal's down to 60%, which is good. Man, the golems are too far. Really good. And I'm just defending them from the pig piglins. While it gets destroyed. Teamwork! One more push and the portal will fall. Yeah it will. So I wonder when you play, I, I assume everything's just unlocked, you can build whatever you want. 25%. Oh, I'm dead. You died, respawning. Now will my golem still be there? Another village needs your help. Please, you have to hurry. What? Oh, I didn't build one, did I? So 
so now I need to get back over there as soon as possible. Ah, it won't take me long, it's not far. Hopefully in the meantime my golems will uh, be doing the business, who knows. I feel bad for them, I've just left my golems there uh, doing their thing. <laughs> I definitely need to build a well house nearby when I get there, so that if I die again I am respawned close by. Ooh, that little plant. Ooh, sped me up, sped me up a bit too much. Right, here's here it is. So I'm gonna build I'm gonna build one of these uh, things up here. It's built up in the sky, which is concerning. Alright, let's go over the bridge. Uh, it's only on 15%, that's great. So, yeah, why am I walking in lava? Right. Let's build a spawner and go in there. Get it put down to not enough resources. I don't have any iron. Is there any iron around here? Oh no, I'll just build uh, some plankstone golem. Plank golem spawners. Fill up my army. Take these guys in. Finish the job. Well, a lot of mine. Okay, right, gather around, guys. Let's go over there. Now, where's that gate that I destroyed last time? <laughs> I feel like it was around here somewhere. But I could be wrong. I have already destroyed one of these gates, and I don't want to have to destroy another one. Oh, I think I see. Here we go. Whoa, what was that? Alright, get sticking on that thing. There we go. I'll do a bit of damage on these guys. Hopefully if I die this time, no, no, no. you guys attack this thing. Charge! There we go. I'll attack these guys, I'll defend. I think that's it, I think I've done it. This first storm warms the hearts and faces of the overworld. We can't thank you enough. It is true, we have won the battle. 
But I'm afraid the war has just begun. I don't know if this means I've done this, this tutorial. Ma dark magic has brought all the hordes of the Nether to the overworld and emboldened their hunger for conquest. You must destroy all of their portals to save the overworld. You are our only hope. Yeah. Pig and invasion strategies. The maids gathered quite a few resources off the battlefield. Use them to improve your tools before you set off. Well, I think there's more to do. However, I'm going to finish up there. I'm going to save and leave. Uh, because the live stream's gone on a long time. And uh, I just want to have a little look at the menu as well. Lost Legends and I. New adventures every month. Marketplace, obviously. Versus mode. Battle of the players. Very excited for that. Campaign. And then I can kind of carry on from where I was day three. I'm on day three of the campaign. Um, so, yeah. Do I like the game? Ah, uh, yes, I'm excited for the game. I like the tactical element, gathering resources, leaving the LA's building while you go off and do stuff. Um, um, I need to learn about the different uh, mobs that you can create, the different types of golems, the different enemies, unlock more stuff. The only thing that's worrying me so far is the limit on the amount of uh, mobs you're allowed, but I guess if you're playing a 4v4 thing, then yeah, it's going to... Uh, it's going to, there's going to be a lot of mobs on the map, and I guess if each person has like 20, I guess that's fair. Uh, but the strategy will come from, you know, playing with four people communicating together. So, um, yeah, maybe get a Discord server going or something like that and find some people to play against. But I guess this evening everyone's just going to be learning the rules, so uh, learning how it all works, which I've been doing as well. And I'm going to keep going. I'll probably do a live stream a week, something like that. In, the, in between, I'll be playing and brushing up on my skills. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this not live... I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe. And I will see you all later in the week.